Hi Year 8, okay the next video that we're going to be doing is looking at how to transcribe the drawing, sorry, the painting across to your drawing, okay? You'll see that you've got grid lines on both and those grid lines, because the image is square, marry up really nicely, okay? So we can work through box by box making sure all of our lines are accurate across the whole of the picture. You're going to need a pencil, a rubber and a sharpener today. Please make sure you have those pieces of equipment now. Now when I start to draw, I generally start to draw from the top left and work to the top right. That stops me smudging my work as I go. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to look where in the box each line is placed. So I'm doing that top bit of hair, I can see that that's a little bit inside the box there. I'm not sure if I'm just slightly cut off on your screen at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to do that one quickly, but we're going to focus on the ribbon. So looking at the ribbon here, I can see that the ribbon is about a quarter, just less than a quarter away uh, of the way through the box at the top there. So I'm going to place a dot about a quarter of the way through the box. And actually it's very similar at the bottom. Okay, it's less than a quarter of the way through, so I'm going to pop a dot there, and then I can join those two lines up, thinking about the curve, thinking about how the shape of that line is, and actually it's a bit more curved than what I drew. Once I'm happy with the line, I can then continue it down a little bit into the box below. And then I'm going to do the other side of the girl's ribbon. So I'm going to go into this box, because it's this box, second box along. And I can see that the ribbon comes, again, it's about a quarter of the way in. Okay, so starts there, it crosses this line about a quarter of the way down. So I'm going to start that curve. Again, they're all about a quarter of the way at the moment. That one goes about a quarter of the way down, and then it stops in that box. Okay. I'm then going to do a double line for that because you can see that you've got the black area there. Thinking carefully about the thickness of our lines, making sure that we're accurate with that as well. I'm then going to look at how the hair is starting to form. So there's actually a third line that comes across here, the yellow line that comes up crosses that box, little way into your second box in, and then becomes a curve that crosses straight through the centre of that cross. That's nice and easy to line up. So, straight through the centre of that cross. Approximately like that. And then that curve comes down, and it comes to about here in the box. So. It's kind of like an S shape, a backwards S shape. It's a little divot of yellow there. That comes down. Comes up there. And turns into a line there. Okay. So I'm gradually going to work my way across. A nice little tip for you is try and ignore the fact that this is a face, okay? Think about it only being lines. Something you could do if you're getting too caught up in a bit, you know, it doesn't look like what it should look like. Turn it upside down, and you could work from that side across, because actually, all those lines are accurate, and if you can get your lines accurate on the grids, when you turn it the right way up, it will be accurate, okay? So it's just a gradual, making sure you've got every line crossing the grids at the right place, the right shape of line, the right curves, okay, and that lines line up with each other at the right place. Please draw lightly, okay, because if you make an error, it'd be really good to be able to rub this out and be able to make corrections appropriately.